Warning, the following Let's Play may or might contain crap, violence, words, and or jokes unsuitable for minors and or weak souls, so viewer discretion is advised. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I would probably go and get the first barrier now, and um, then try to put some points into pistol so we can get a shotgun as soon as possible. Good idea. Uh Rex, uh, not Rex, I would say armor and assault rifle. Well, where is his armor? Combat armor. Oh, oh, my bad. My bad. To try and lock fitness? Yeah. Shield uh, boost and fitness. And then just get the first point in assault rifle and then move on to Krogan Battlemaster, I would say. Five points there? Or yeah. Five points in fitness? Nah, you can't get the first upgrade in fitness. I would just wait until you can get that. Just upgrade his battle master as much as you can. Again, stats is very important here in early gameplay. Oh yeah, we haven't even done anything to garage yet. No, but I would say one point in assault rifle, three points in tactical armor, and uh, the rest in decryption. Well, one more in decryption. And then one in damping. Whatever that does. Uh, damping is excellent against biological uh, and especially biotic using enemies. It uh, stops them from using biotics. Just give the rest to Turian agent. Yeah, it doesn't matter much now. One, point. one point. Yeah, exactly. One point doesn't make much difference. How about we, we stop some equipment onto us now that we have it? Well, uh, assault rifle to hell with it. Yeah, we don't. Sh sh that's not right. Yeah. My bad. It's not gun. <laughs> Are we going to pick this? It's not like. Uh, Guitar, more damage? It does more damage, it's a little less accurate. Yeah, it's all the same. Uh, it I like how they don't stack in what's best and what's worse. Well, it's because a lot of weapons are good in one area and bad in the other. Some have great damage, but you'll often find the ones with great damage overheat more easily or yeah. are less accurate. True. Uh, yeah. High explosive is my favorite kind of a grenade upgrade. It deals extra damage, extra range, extra knockdown, extra anything, really. It's I can't wear medium armor. Not yet, no, that's why you should uh, put points into um, your um, combat armor fairly early, so you can get medium armor as soon as possible, because it will make a difference. What weapons are he good? Is he good with? He is then? good with sniper rifle and with um, assault rifle. Oh. He specializes in ranged combat and uh, sabotaging his enemies. And I, I do like Garrus in missions against Geth. While in missions against more um, biological enemies, I prefer Rex and Liara. While Tali and, uh, and Garrus is best used against the um, mechanical enemies, in my experience. A again, on this difficulty, it doesn't make much of a difference. But it is easier for us to deal with the fact that, uh, yes, just to say it, that you don't know much about playing Vanguard. <laughs> yeah. So otherwise, if this was insanity, it would have been insanely painful. Now. I see. I don't have any more grenades. Uh, it doesn't. Well, you have one. I would say you should be careful here. Don't go inside. Actually, stay here and kill those guys over there. Yes. He's a dog who just died. That's another guy coming. There will always be two guys coming to that point. Next, you should pull the shotgun and try to strafe in and out and kill the bartender. That's what I always do. Ah, so, uh, shotgun. Yeah, because it lets you put a lot of damage. Pop out, shoot him. And pop back into cover. Pop he out and shoot No, so. oh, he'll, uh, die as you go in and out. Of course, you... Wait, he what? disappeared. Ah, he died. Uh, There's another guy to your left. Yeah, right around the corner. Now this fight is really one of the worst designed fights in the game. The only two guys we have remaining right now is the Krogan bouncer who will be coming when we enter the actual room. And then the guy Rex is trying to shoot who is up on this balcony. But this fight is poorly designed because there's actually no good way to engage it. You are forced into a bottleneck immediately with people on all sides shooting at you. And um, yeah, you, you, you just don't have a good way of dealing with that Krogan at this point. You're better off just knocking him down, 
uh, activating all your squad powers, you know, like uh, the assault rifle ability of Rex, your own marksman, just just kill the guy. Of course, since I don't play on this low difficulty myself, I didn't know the Krogans couldn't do that nifty little trick they can on hardcore and higher. Uh, on those difficulties, Krogan have a tendency to pull a special ability when they're about to die, where they start regenerating at an alarming rate. Well, that's basically what they do. They regen, like, immediately. So fast that you actually can't even... Uh, oh, here we see a very prime example of what I'm talking about, the shotgun technique. You can just pop in and out without taking much of any damage, and you can put huge damage in them because of the great one-shot power of the shotgun. Now this is something I, I think I had bug for me the last time. This um, particular situation didn't work for me. The guys, they just attacked me. I never had this conversation ability. Hmm. Uh, but the first time I actually played it, I did have that. I, I don't know what I did wrong. I thought it might have something to do with me not putting away my weapons when I went in, but you had your weapons out, so... So that's not the case, apparently. And more renegade stuff. I just thought of something. Um, okay. Helmet off. I just realized that helmet looks so ridiculous. Well, I never use helmets for my um, for my squad, anyways. Take everything. Yeah, it's always a good idea to take everything. Oh, this. This. This fight is interesting, you should just kill the turrets, because they are really, um, Ouch. they're really the only thing stopping you. You should just concentrate on getting those down, and when they're down, the, this fist guy will die immediately. This is actually a poor choice of weapon I have here, I think. Well, again, it depends on difficulty. On this difficulty, you're better off just peeking out, hitting a few times, and then dodging back into cover. But you will take so much damage on high difficulties that it's insane to, to try and stay out for more than a brief second. And you basically won the fight like that. I remember I thought it had bugged out for me the first time I did this, because to me it made no sense. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. Anyways, this particular part, once we're done wait, here, wait, to me is the first the um, is, case where we actually get to make a real renegade decision, where we either decide whether we support violence or whether we uh, are trying to show ourselves as a uh, decent person who respects life and uh, the rights of people. You'll see and what I mean. we're just going to be renegade and kill him, right? We don't have to, but we're going to support what's going to happen. Yeah, since we know what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. That. Deserved it. Well, Not truth really. be told, he did. But I don't uh, kill people like that. But I only do here because we are going all renegade. Yeah, it it seems a bit blunt. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, I, I can't get past the death. Oh, I can't. The, the thing about the, the the story again, like Shepard just doesn't seem like the kind of person you would have. Leading, like the great, the great racial stride. Oh, by the way, that guy, he's oftentimes bugged where he'll never show up. Just push forward. Uh, you should certainly just push forward. He won't pop up until you do. You're out of fight, and he died. This next part of the fight, which we're engaging in now, is actually not so bad because a lot of the people they will come straight to you, make it quite easy. The first part of the fight, as you saw, they're all bunkered down. They will wait for you to come to them, and you will often be completely surrounded. Here, they are all very much, um, very much just lined up nice, nice and easily, and you know, Ouch. easy to deal with. And I don't I've also misplaced my metagear. Well, it doesn't matter. You can always, in the situation, um, just use your um, 
adrenaline burst and immediately gain all your abilities back. This is the brokenness of the um, Vanguard. Like you can, you might want to consider using your squad mates' abilities at this point. Go, go. Like, use decryption, which is one lower. Yeah, that one. And that guy, he won't be able to shoot you in the face. And then you can go and kill that him. Looked very funny. Like, decryption, make sure weapons overheat. The enemy can actually do that to you. And it's very annoying when it happens. It basically, what it does is it makes it impossible for you to shoot for a little while. Yeah. So you'd have to change weapon. Now, this is not so much of a problem for, shall we say, an engineer or an adept, because you rely more on your powers, but for something that's more weapons oriented, like a vanguard or a soldier, it's a bit of a problem. Like with soldier, you have so many guns, it's not really that much of a concern, but. As yeah, Vanguard. Weapon. <laughs> yeah, Vanguard can have problems with that. And here we come to my favorite character in the game. Oh yeah. Tali. Wee. Oh hi. Did you bring it? Where's the I just really like this one. She always had that um, sense of mystery about her that is very popular in romance stories and also she is very just to me a very charming little character yeah you overheat I would suggest you just pull out the shotgun and charge it throw one of the guys to the ground with a good throw and basically even out the whole fight for yourself that's the advantage of the um, vanguard oh none of these guys have throw no you could uh, use decryption on the other guys so we can't shoot you well, he's dead. He, he died. And he so he literally did. Ouch. This set me up. L look, I, I'm yeah. sizzling. <laughs> yeah, I think you were hit by one of those tech attacks and... Um, I'm sizzling and died, but I'm still alive. Yeah, that's the power of cutscenes. Yep. Just live into them and you'll be fine. Like, what was it, uh, in Super Mario Sunshine, if you um, lose your hat, you will steadily lose health until you receive it back, or until you uh, die. And if you go into a conversation, you'll actually continue to lose life until you die in the conversation, and if you exit the conversation, you will, yeah, die. <laughs> you won't just sit there being dead, but you'll actually, like, go, you died, now you have to start over. Not that that happens here. But anyways, we here yeah, have gained ourselves a new um, an ally to our yeah. team, which we aren't going to use. Are yeah, we are definitely going to use her. She's excellent against the Geth. On certain missions, like um, on the one where we recruit the final member, she is just about the best one to have. Using uh, using Tali and um, what should we call him? Garrus in the uh, Liara recruitment mission is, in my opinion, the best option because you can completely eliminate the majority of Geth attackers. The only part where there are not much use is against the boss in that area, but no team member is really of any use in that fight whatsoever. And why that is, we will get into when we actually come to that. Yes. We get there when we get there. Yeah, that's what did you find probably out? the best way of saying it. Most of the core was wiped clean. I always thought it would be cool to have one of those Omni tools as computer or phone. Yeah, they're, they're an interesting thing. I never understood how they work. What are they? Are they l like materialized lights or whatever? Um, I, I believe it's wh when you sort of grab around, you, you don't hold on it, but when you break a part of the light, it action it, it functions like a uh, li like a projector um w that looks for a light that is broken i see but this brings to mind how the um 
I don't know what it, I don't remember what it's called. I just call it the Omni Blade, because in Mass Effect 3 you have the ability to do a so-called heavy melee, and as every character in the game apart from Adept, that is basically a blade that pops out of your arm, similar to that of an Omni Tool, and oh, yeah. it can strike people. So I'm I'm curious as if how that works. Is it laser that burns? Is, is it what what is it? I, it must be laser then. Well, right. like a lightsaber from Star Wars. <laughs> yes. You go, go like, swing, zoom, zoom. Yeah, but at least the um, the lightsaber is just a laser beam. This uh, one actually like it's a plasma. It, it's plasma incorporated in a force field. Says who? Says the some sort of book uh, Lucas Arts really published as the official book of. Star Wars te oh. technical wear, so it's like when you press the button, it pops out a force field that sort of spins up and around. A lo really long technical description of how this force field actually works that I didn't read, but then this force field sort of gets filled with plasma. Right. And that's how the laser sword actually works. Works. It's a blade of plasma that that you swing around. Ah. Right, so the force field is what deflects lasers. The, the force field is what keeps the the uh, the plasma in and deflects lasers, right. while, while the plasma is what burns and cut things apart. I see. Well, all right. So that somewhat makes sense, but it, without the technical description, lo long technical description of things, it's sort of horribly, horribly insignificant and sort of trolled physics. Yeah. But uh, there is a long-running description of how it works. Right, which we hopefully won't go into here. <laughs> I was just wondering about the whole blade thing you get, because it's very clearly defined as a blade. So it yeah. looks like it's a hologram, only you know it can actually do damage. So I was just curious about mm -hmm. that. But, but it could basically be the same idea as a laser well, lightsaber. That, that is probably what it's supposed to be. They probably never... I don't know, actually. I, I've never played Mass Effect 3. I've only... You know, been part of the discussions on the indoctrination theory. I've seen and heard the story, but I didn't play the game myself. So I haven't looked into all the details, like how those blades work. Maybe there's a description in game. And here Tali goes all all forceful on us, like, shows she's not to be messed around with. It's not a good reason to like her. She has a personality. But you're not ready for this. I mean, she's not ready for this. Yeah, true enough. Yeah, at this point we don't... They literally a just trolled her into our team. Yeah, yeah, again, like I said, it doesn't matter what you say or do, whether it's Renegade or not, she's coming with you. Everyone's going to join, freaking join your mission of self-conquest and death. Yeah, the good thing uh, I about... I mean, suicide mission of self-conquest and death. Exactly. Like, the good thing about um, Mass Effect 2 was that it at least had... Yeah, just go with those guys. Go. Doesn't make any difference at this particular point, so why not? But so, uh, what was the mission again? Go back to the council. Yes, uh, we are going to deliver to the. Bastards. We are going to deliver the evidence that Tali brought us about how uh, Saren is uh, operating with how the. How Saren is actually Saren and not a Spectre, who's a good guy. Yeah. Should we help this dude? It's a side mission. It's easily dealt with. Why not? We we gain some Renegade stuff. Yeah. What is, what is it? Is it? But like I said, you actually in Mass Effect 2 get the chance to choose if people should be on your team or stay on your team, I believe, at least to a certain point. Uh, I don't remember that. Well, I believe, like... That's garbage. I, I mean, that's what I said. I'm not sure, actually, if you were able to leave Legion in the... Um, Mission of the Reaver Call. If I say this is pointless, will it get dropped? I don't know, actually. I'll find out. I'll just well, pick neutral here. Yeah. Just so I can go do it, yeah. I think if it's pointless, you won't be able to do it, yeah. Then He'll we have to go talk with the guy up here, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, there's a guy at the bar who will tell you about... You know, yada yada yada, how they need a body to do tests. And Intimidate and done. Yeah. This guy. 
But actually, you'll gain, you know, Paragon. Yes, doing that. I'm Commander Shepard. I mean, we are Commander Shepard. Stop stealing corpses. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very um, blunt. It's a very uh, short sentence of what we're doing. Yeah. It's weird. We're being the good bad guy. Yeah. Again, we're being like an anti-hero. We are mistreating one guy to favor another. You know, this guy's just doing his job technically. He's trying to help advance human interests, yeah. so on and so forth. And technically, it, it makes sense. So she's been mutilated. I don't care how badly the get mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nirali Batia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, yeah, really. ready for research. <laughs> The tests we're conducting Again, they may, the guy makes perfect attacks. sense. I'm releasing the body. <laughs> that that sounds wrong. She didn't like uh, at some point. Yeah. Also, technically, would this be a renegade thing to do? It's a renegade option, but wouldn't it be renegade to let the poor grieving husband not get his wife? I'm not sure. I'm just we, we are doing it renegade because we're pushing him around, so it must be renegade. I suppose. Yes, I would. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really Again, I wouldn't choose this kind of person to lead anything. I would lock a person like this up. Yeah. I mean... But, but this person is leading and we are playing this person. Yeah. This horrible, horrible, insignificant idiot of a person we are playing. Yeah, yeah. Once again, I, I think this this game. See, we we got nine renegade points out of that. Oh, all right then. We were very, very renegade. We didn't help the human species. We 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 didn't help a anyone at all. Man, this guy's got nothing interesting to say. He's just going to talk about how he doesn't like people. Yada yada. Saying is bad. Troll, -la -la -la, whatever. You know. Hooray, let's go. I'm behind the door. Yeah, if you have the um, if you have the uh, weapons uh, out, you will actually use the cover system when you go up to a door. Uh, actually, we are being anti-racistic here because we are right white dude helping a black dude. I mean, we are white woman helping a black dude. Yes, because uh, that's pretty anti-racistic and uh, a good way to say. We, we don't give a shit about people who are... No, wait. That's the wrong way to put it. We, we don't care about skin color. People are people. End of story. Yeah, but that's not Renegade. Yeah. Well, I suppose. But whatever. Uh, nah. No comment. No comment. Um, I like cake. Sure. I believe we're two on that one. Actually, we could talk with this dude, but oh, yeah, I don't really care about that, so I'm yeah. just going to go this way. Yeah, it doesn't and matter. And shoot my shotgun at the council. I mean... Too late. Point my shotgun at the council. <clears throat> that guy, he... Which we refuse to talk to, he has a side mission for us, which will give you some extra money, but it really doesn't have much else, and, uh, you know, connected to it. So, there's no point in doing it. We're not going to do every single side mission, I think, only the ones that has any real importance. Otherwise, this will be a very long and pointless let's play. Besides, there's no real need for it as long as we can um, get the renegade option to keep Rex, which I think is the most important thing because, well, I just like him too damn much. She must be working with the Geth too. Matriarch Venevia is a powerful biotic and she has many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Trojans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet. Yeah, I feel like... I know I've been talking a lot, but I feel like I should say that I find the whole way that... Shepard and <laughs> Anderson are presenting this whole Reaper threat. It, it, it seems so childish. You know? It's trouble, that's what. Yeah, it, it just, you'd expect people like Anderson to have a bit more experience, to be able to, you know, tell when it's time.
time to say things and it's time to be a little bit more diplomatic. I mean, I'm only in my early 20s and I'm clever enough to know that you don't tell people that a gigantic army of supernatural machines is hiding behind our galaxy's borders and they're gonna come and in invade us all. I mean, it, it just doesn't sound feasible. You know, you, you yeah, you should probably stick with uh, stick with a more subtle approach. But then again, we are going all renegade. So and bad guy type style. Yeah, but uh, even if you go even if you go Paragon, he'll still be or she in this case will still be an idiot about it. Yeah. This is again what I'm talking about. How uh, at least you are able to um, either. Uh, what, what's it called? Charm or uh, intimidate Saren into killing himself. You don't ruin that for the people. They'll. Yeah, well, now that you've said it, yes, that's one possibility. But I. I, I could cover it up. Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> true, but it would seem weird. Same old story. Yeah. Well, I could put in a sound that literally just. Bleeps. <laughs> Yeah, and then then we can. Keep I could reverse the parts so it sounds back so it's backwards. Yeah, it's, it'll be a subliminal message. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, but um, yeah, I, in my opinion, Shepard just never seems like the what I would have considered to be Earth's best hope kind of person. Just doesn't doesn't strike me as being very intelligent or very inspirational. I, if I had met Shepard, would have seen him slash her as either kind of a bully or as some sort of well-meaning idiot. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have listened to him slash her. I wouldn't have respected him slash her. I would have just said, sure, if that's what you believe, then good for you and now leave me alone. Uh, and suddenly there's a lot of people staring at us. I, I mean, her. Yeah, I, it, it makes you wonder if this whole thing has been public when all these people suddenly show up. This is, this, again, the, the Hollywood-ishness of this story. Like, mm -hmm. there has to be a great ceremony involved. It has to be dramatic. You know, the music's playing. The, 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 the great... What do you call it? No, you, you, I don't know how to describe this in English, but you see how you you see the council explain the greatness of the spectres and how important they are, and so on and so forth. Like you, 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 you're meant to truly believe that this is a great thing that's happening to you. And uh, about time. That, that's a My Little Pony episode. You and your pony. Well, well, it is an actual episode. It's called "It's About Time," and it makes a reference to Metal Gear Solid. Well, we're not playing that right now, so screw that. But anyways, like I said, this this game sometimes tends to get a little bit overdramatic in my. Opinion. And Hollywood-like. Yeah. Uh, at least it doesn't get Bollywood-like. <laughs> and everybody would like throw half the clothes off and start dancing and singing Indian. But anyways, um, like, like, there's way too many timers, there's way too many shouting at each other scenes, there's way too many standoffs, it's, it is sometimes a bit vulgar. It, I think it needed a little bit of balancing this game. I think the second game did a better job at um, at incorporating a more realistic look at, uh, at the whole the whole story and how you interact with people. The shepherd seems like less of a dumb grunt, and uh, yeah, I would say it's, I would probably actually wait. I would say get the spectre training first. I think it's more important. Then you have the first unity, and you'll need that if you should lose some party members mm. at some point. But but I was thinking going at least uh, three points here to to gain more intimidate to be able to in secure our intimidate in the future. I suppose then then do that and then get the last point to sh pistol so you can get shotgun instead and then you can focus on uh, on training later. 
training your yeah. spectre training. Mm -hmm. uh, I would probably say get the tactical armor up where you can get the assault training. <laughs> it's bugged. It is. Yeah, you saw that. It was down here while it was up there. Oh yeah, it'll do that. Assault training. Two points. Actually, then you need to you need to watch out for that because if it's down there with by the other ones, if you start activating it, it will activate the one which is highlighted, not the one you want. I see. That, that's an annoying... Uh, yes, it is. I would go f just full out on the um, tactical armor so you can get medium armor right away. He'll need that. He is a very fragile guy. And Rex, I would say combat armor. Could come, come, come there. Yes. To get heavy. Exactly. Like, survivability is your main concern. Advanced shield boost, or should we go somewhere else with the final point? Mm, I'll just get Krogan Battlemaster upgraded fully, then it's out of the way. Like I say, you should definitely, especially on high difficulties, go for the survivability first. Technically, we could just forget mostly about that and go for damage, because then you'd be able to plow through enemies so fast that, mm. you know, that you wouldn't have to survive. But... I think it's important to just be, be be smart about it. It, it. If you go from a low difficulty to a high difficulty to test yourself, it's a good idea to know the basics of how to be in the best possible tactical position you can be in. And one of the most important things is to well is to be fit as a fiddle, healthy, strong. And then you can make do for your lack in firepower simply by playing a little bit conservatively in the beginning and then when you get better weapons and mm. better training you can be more aggressive. Yeah. Uh, where's the ship again? Ship is through that one up there, I believe. If it's not, I'm... No, nope, then it's the other one. Then it's the other one over there. <sighs> I can never remember because... Yeah, I just don't... Now this one doesn't work. Yes, it does. You just need to uh, activate there. it from over there. To docking bay. I mean, bay dock. I mean, yeah. This is, by the way, where if you are the um, colonist, where you will get the uh, special, I don't know what you want to call it, the special occurrence, so the special occurrence for the, um, the colonist build, or whatever you want to call it, where you will meet later in the game a panicking slave girl who has been indoctrinated not by the reapers, this is not the kind of indoctrination we're talking about, but by slavers to believe that they yeah, are you mean, masters. Uh, brainwash. Yeah, it's sort of the same thing. Indoctrination in this game is just used to specifically refer to reapers, so I suppose you're right, it's better to say brainwashed. Brainwashed into believing the slavers to be her problem masters and then she will attempt to kill herself and you must try to stop her. We won't get this here though because we are not colonists. I just felt, uh, felt like I needed to mention it. Yeah. Oh. No, it's just nice to know. So you know what the actual difference it makes is. Lost retirement? <laughs> yeah. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Convoy. Alright, here we go. We are getting our first information on places we need to go. Now, there isn't really much choice. We need to go to all these places. There isn't... There isn't anything we can do about it. This is what I was talking about when uh, I said the story was very linear. And anything else? Well, we'll just have to go, go, <laughs> and get these things out of the way. These missions are all fairly easy, and once they've been taken care of, it would be easier to deal with the, some of the side missions that actually have some level of importance to us. This is just my opinion. It's really up to the guy playing. Uh, I, I don't think this actually have any affection. We, we no, can say we can this and go there, and we can say that and go there, yeah. or we can say start there and go nowhere. Yeah, exactly. 
I prefer to start with Liara personally because it's the easiest mission overall. It ju it does, however, have the hardest boss fight, perhaps in the entire game. Any mini mini doesn't matter. Well? Doesn't matter. But sounds like we should head for the Artemis. Yeah, Artemis. this is where we we start. I would, like I said, personally suggest That's your job. Your actions still Sorry. <laughs> I was just kidding, taking things out of context and placing them into our conversation. Right. Well, anyways, I would suggest that we, uh, we, we take these, and I would suggest this to anyone, it's these missions, the beginning missions, are the beginning missions for a reason, they're pretty easy to deal with, and you should just yeah. go and deal with them. After that, you've powered up, and you are ready to deal with the actually more difficult side missions, and you will also have some more combat experience overall. Yeah. yeah. So, win-win. Well, either way, here I think we're going to take a small break because I need one. And uh, we'll be back after this very, very short intermission. Cool. Bye. And we're back in action again.